Hey, Dr. Ben Lynch here. So, you, maybe you saw the can't fall asleep video. Maybe that worked for you, but now you can't stay asleep. You fall asleep beautifully, but you can't stay asleep. What's going on? Blood sugar imbalance is the number one reason why people can't stay asleep. So when I say number one, it's number one from my experience and some other colleagues of mine's experience. I don't know if it's the number one overall in the entire world, but it's number one for me. Because if I address this fact with my patients, what I'm learning is they're, they're now able to stay asleep. So what's going on here? You're laying down, you fall asleep, a couple hours later, you're up. You go to walk around the house, get some food maybe, you fall back asleep, and you're up again. What's up? Your blood sugar is imbalanced, and your blood sugar is imbalanced because your adrenals are imbalanced, or you're not eating appropriately. And you're not eating appropriately, which is causing blood sugar imbalance. So a lot of people, not our family, we eat too late at night. That's, we're the opposite end of the spectrum. We're trying to fix that. But a lot of people I know eat dinner around four or five o'clock in the afternoon. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to me because my bedtime is around 11.30 at night. I'm trying to fix that too. I'm trying to get to bed at 10. But you try raising three kids and being active and busy and doing all this work. I love this work. I'm also passionate about it, which keeps me up at night. But I digress. Eat a bit later. Say your bedtime is 10 o'clock. Have dinner around seven. Don't feel bad. Maybe you grew up and say, don't eat late at night, it's bad for you. Too late, it's bad for you. But also, too early is bad for you. You're not falling asleep and staying asleep, right? So let's fix that. Have dinner a bit later. Eat a complete dinner. Have your protein, have your healthy fats. Fats are good, the healthy ones, and healthy carbohydrates. And go to a nutritionist if you don't understand what that is, or talk with your doctor about it. But look for a balanced meal. Don't just have carbs for dinner, and don't just have protein, and don't just have veggies. You need to have a complete balanced meal, okay? That's gonna keep your blood sugar stable. Your body's gonna take the amino acids and convert it to energy, and it's gonna take the carbohydrate and store it for later. So now you're gonna be able to fall asleep and stay asleep. Why? Your blood sugar is now balanced. The trigger is, is if your blood sugar falls, if your blood sugar falls, your body's in protective mechanisms mode. It's there to protect you. You're waking up in the middle of the night because your body is saying, you idiot, your blood sugar is off and I'm gonna spike your blood sugar, for, blood sugar for you. And that's done by spiking norepinephrine. Norepinephrine and cortisol break the stored fuel in your liver to make it now available to increase your blood sugar. But that's useful, but it's not useful when you're trying to sleep. So the story is, what? What? Oh yeah, eat a bit later, a complete balanced meal, and in the morning, you can take some adrenal support to support your adrenals, because your adrenals really support your cortisol balance. And if you're stressed out, find other ways to calm down, because being calm takes the burden off your adrenals. If you take the burden off your adrenals, they're not gonna be wigging out at night, so you can stay asleep. Hope that helps you. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about this. ShyCon 2015, have you heard about it? You just enjoyed this video, I hope. You're excited about it. This information is very clinically relevant to you and your patients. ShyCon 2015 is an upcoming conference in October that you can't miss. There's 400 like-minded people like me, like yourself, that want to know more about how to optimize the health of your patients. You have four days of it. You have 400 doctors who are wanting to get more information on this and do what they need to do and transform medicine and transform the health of your patient and transform your practice. ShyCon 2015, you can do it. Learn more at seekinghealth.org. Thank you.